88.9 WERS. I'm Phil, and I'm in the Live Mix studio uh, with good company. Buffalo Tom are here. Thank you so much for dropping by, guys. Thank you. Was it time of coming and going? Time of wanting but not really knowing. We took the boat out of the water. Ready, missing my son and missing my daughter. Oh, Buffalo Tom live in the WR studio. Uh, wow, guys, that's a that's a way to start a new album. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's a way. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that. No, I th- I th- it's a it's a bold move. Your new album, Quiet and Peace, is awesome because you teed up fantastically with that song. Uh, so thanks for playing it for us. Thank you. Uh, I'd love to hear something else from it. All right, this is uh, overtime. Every one of 
WERS Buffalo Tom, our live in studio. You you know you had pretty much six albums that came out um, nonstop almost every year from 1988 on. What was it about Boston at the time that let you just keep on going, keep on putting it out? It was a very competitive time to be in a band. I mean, when we started, it was like you know the Pixies throwing muses. Um, Lemonheads, Dinosaur Jr., you know, Mission to Burma kind of had taken a break, but yeah, but Volcano Suns. I mean, it's just so many great bands. Galaxy 500. So these would be like bands playing on a Wednesday night at TG the Bears, you know, <laughs> and uh, Bolt La Volta, Moving Targets. These are great bands that were, and there were there were there were more clubs back then of like sort of modest size, and also sort of bigger size, like the channel. So there were lots of places to play, but there were still, there were more bands than places to play. So it was very competitive. But it was also really encouraging and inspiring. And we had been up, up at UMass Amherst, so it was kind of our parents were all around Eastern Mass, so we ended up in Boston together. And um, I, I don't think any of us thought it would last, you know, more than a couple of years, really, at a time, you know. And then it kind of, we added a couple more years to that, and then we started buying more equipment, and... <laughs> Yeah. We're kind of getting We're more stuck. invested in it. Yeah, <laughs> can't move those amps. Yeah, it's like, to LA. I, and then the more sort of the longer you stay out of a day job, is like, well, what else can I do now? It's <laughs> like, We're all in. What? Oh. Yeah. 